So, now that we've gotten this new map update that introduced handguards and codes into the game, I bet you're wondering what comes next. Well, recently, a lot of sneak peeks have been released that have given us a look into what abilities are about to be released to the public. The ultimate for Insect got leaked a while ago, and some moves for both Sun and Tamari have been shown in the Discord. So let's take a look into what each of these sneak peeks are, and what they could mean for the future of the game. The first sneak peek is the ultimate of Insect, which got leaked in general a while back. The move is called Centipede, and appears to be an instantaneous dash forwards, similar to Thunderclap. If someone is in the way of the move, they'll be grabbed by the user, and a short cutscene will play where they slam the opponent into the ground. This move looks amazing visually, and appears satisfying to land. We don't know if this move is a combo extender, or if it guard breaks, but from the looks of it, the move seems like it ragdolls long enough to combo extend, and is most likely a block bypass considering it's an ultimate. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this in the game, and Insect is probably going to be a meta ability once it's finished, considering Insect is already extremely strong. The second sneak peek to be shown is Sun Breathing, which had one move shown to the public pretty recently. This new move is called Dance, and appears to have an M1 variant as well as an M2 variant. The M1 variant of the move makes the user dash forward and do a horizontal slash which ragdolls those hit while also doing decent damage. It appears that this move combo extends despite the knockback, similarly to String Slash, since it has enough stun to confirm into M1s. Also, the move is blockable. The M2 variant of the move, on the other hand, does a 2 combo strike, doing a vertical slash first and then a horizontal slash to follow it up, with both hits stunning the opponent. This move guard breaks and also combo extends, just like the M1 variant. It also does the exact same amount of damage. Visually, Dance looks absolutely phenomenal. The effects are much more unique compared to other effects in the game, and look like they come straight out of the anime. In terms of gameplay, Dance looks like it'll be pretty good as well. The M1 variant looks like a good move for rush downing or punishing someone who doesn't have their guard up, while the M2 variant looks like a nice block break for neutral. There are also combo extenders too, so depending on what else Sun gets, this could be a very strong ability for combos. The final ability that's been sneak peeked so far is Tamari, which actually has everything shown, leaked from footage of battles with the owner of the game, who was using Tamari. I'll start off with the moves that were sent in the sneak peeks channel first. The first move that got showcased is Play Ball, which on activation, plays a short animation before kicking a ball where the user is facing. This move is a guard break and does decent damage. It also presumably has hyper armor on it too. Play Ball seems like it'll be a pretty decent zoning tool, though it may be a little weak because of how much startup it has. If you're good at aiming it though, it could very well be an amazing move. The second ability I got sneaked is the ultimate, which is Tamari Combo. This move throws a volley of Tamari Balls in the direction the user is facing before throwing one final Tamari at the opponent. This ultimate looks like it'll be absolutely amazing, and as we'll see in the clip I'm about to show, there's a boatload of damage too. I've also been told by a developer of the game that this ultimate is turnable, has invincibility frames, and bypasses block, so this could potentially be the best ultimate in Rogue Demon so far when it releases. Now, a player named War Wild sent a clip earlier today showing him fighting the owner of the game who was using Tamari. In this clip, we'll see a little bit of footage of how Tamari works. Tamari appears to be a very simple zoner class, with simple combos as well. Tamari does not have an evasive, and we also get to see two other moves that aren't showcased in the Sneak Peeks channel, that being Tamari Throw and Throwback. Tamari Throw is simple, throwing two Tamaris in the direction the user is facing. Throwback, however, is a bit different, moving the user backwards while they throw a Tamari in the direction they're facing. Every single move that Tamari has is ranged, so it's definitely going to be a pretty annoying zoner class when it's released to the public. However, I wouldn't bet on it being considered meta, because it does lack an evasive and is also very predictable. Only time can tell though, and there's a really high chance that someone out there is going to find some really weird technique for Tamari that turns it into some meta ability which will get nerfed in the future. That's all the sneak peeks of future content in Rogue Demon for now. I personally am pretty excited to see these updates in the near future, and all of these new abilities look like they'll be a very unique addition to the current movesets already in the game. Let me know what ability you're most excited to see in the comments. With that being said, that's the end of the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching, because it helps me out a lot. Anyways, I'm Eternally, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.